For today's product demo, I'm going to play the role of a product leader at Amplifit. Amplifit is one of the largest international fitness chains. We've always had hundreds of physical locations, but our business is increasingly becoming digital first. We survived the pandemic by bringing classes online, with customers booking classes through our web and mobile apps. We are now trying to further increase revenue through a new virtual subscription offering. This is a major bet on the future of our business. So product, engineering, marketing, and executive teams are all asking one question. How can we increase subscription revenue? Let's dive into our demo to see how those teams work together to answer that question. We'll start at our dashboard, where we track our most important digital metrics across our teams. I can see digital revenue, trial performance, and important metrics like conversion of our marketing programs and retention of our users. And I can see that most of our digital revenue is still coming from one-off class purchases, not our new subscription service. But the program is still early, and here I can see subscribers have a much higher lifetime value than those who just purchase one-off classes. And we can see that the subscriber numbers are trending up. So that's a strong early signal for the program. But I still want to answer, how can we continue to increase the number of subscribers? I know the team just introduced a new free trial and I can see high level conversions, so let's drill in. And the first thing I notice is that while we're doing a great job of driving new trials, the conversion to purchasing a subscription is still fairly low. Here's where the magic of Amplitude shines through. I can interact with data to answer questions I never even thought to ask. Like, why do users that start a trial never complete a purchase? I see we have a 67% conversion between steps, which I would expect to be higher. Let's explore common journeys of users that do not buy a subscription. Right away, I can see they're having to log back in. Maybe this is an authentication issue. I go further down and some of these users are re-entering their payment info and restarting trials. That's a bad product experience. I'm gonna go ahead and save and share this with my engineering team so they can look further into that experience. So we found some opportunities to improve this drop-off, but I'm wondering how many are actually starting and then completing the trial? Whoa, that is a big drop-off. We need to find new ways to improve those conversions. Between these two steps, there are millions of paths a user can take. I could look through individual journeys or ask a data scientist to run models that will take days to return answers. Or I can use the power of Amplitude to help guide me. With a simple click, Amplitude scans the behavioral graph of these users who didn't convert and shows me what actions correlate with not completing a trial. And I can see that searching for classes and searching for items have strong correlation with a user not completing the trial. I'm gonna go ahead and save all of those users that didn't convert as a cohort. But I wonder, if users aren't finding the right classes, maybe we could predict which class would make each individual user most likely to complete the trial. Let's head to Amplitude Recommend. Here, we can directly take action on groups of users, like that cohort of users we just created. Now, our marketing team can send these users an email, notification, or ads reminding them about their trial. Or we can take it one step further and make personalized suggestions of classes for each individual user. To do that, we select recommendations. We're optimizing for our trial user and want to help users find and book the best class for them. So we define our outcome as complete class booking. We select what items to recommend, in this case, add a class and class ID. So the model will choose for each individual user the exact classes most likely to get them to complete a booking. Let's go ahead and save this model. Now our team's been running new class recommendations for a while, so now let's go see the results. With the behavioral graph, we can get this up and running fast. And coupled with analytics, I can automatically measure the impact. Here, I can see a more than 30% lift in new class bookings for trial users. 
In just a few minutes, we've gone from a static product to every user getting a personalized experience. This is a big win. As a company, we've been wanting to introduce personalization in our product, and Amplitude has helped us do that quickly without massive data science resources. I've already answered a lot of questions today, all without submitting a data request to technical teams, where I might wait days or weeks for an answer to a single question. I found an answer to my original question so quickly, I now have time to go look at some other areas to improve. I get a message from my colleague, Jenny. I think I just found our new aha moment, five or more classes. Let's check it out. Wow, the retention of subscribers who take five or more classes is almost 2x those who take less than five classes. So how many classes on average do our subscribers take today? I remember seeing that analysis in our team space and can see that non-power users take less than four classes on average. Interesting. Now, I know the team has been working on an idea of a new fitness goal tracker to increase the number of classes that our users take. So let me go ahead and ask Jenny if we can move this feature up the backlog to our next product update. But we're not just gonna release it. We're gonna run a data-driven test to see if the new fitness goals are effective. And for that, we'll use Amplitude Experiment. With Experiment, we can run high-impact A-B tests and progressively deliver new features. This helps our teams learn faster, mitigate risks, and determine the best experiences for our users. Jenny and the engineering team already got the experiment started. Now, I love Amplitude because it guides us through each step, from hypothesis to targeting to measuring results. We have a strong hypothesis that if we can get more people taking five plus classes, we'll see more of them keeping their subscriptions. So we set our success metric, in this case, increasing average classes per user. We have our control, which is today's experience, and our treatment, the new fitness goals. And now I'm going to create a target segment using the cohort that I created earlier of starting a trial, but not completing and we'll test this with 10% of our users. What's really different compared to other experimentation solutions is that Amplitude has analytics and data already at its core. Now, for everything else, let's go ahead and use the default controls. Amplitude will automatically manage identity across all my platforms, so users will get the same experience no matter what device they use. I'll save and ship the new fitness goal feature to our test group, and if we fast forward, we'd be able to see results directly within the experiment. And as we've seen, we can dive much deeper with Amplitude Analytics. Our team can even tell a data-driven story with one of our favorite features, notebooks. Here we collaborate and share context, learnings, and results. And you can see the original charts we explored earlier, which are automatically added and updated. It tells the full story from the first key insights and discovery about the trial experience, to the personalizations that we're now running, to the latest experiment that we've run and how it ties back to impact. And I can see that against the control, we're seeing a massive lift on average classes taken from those using our fitness goals compared to those not experiencing the treatment. For next steps, let's go ahead and roll this out to 100% of our users. A week later, I check back in on our subscriber numbers and see that our two bets are paying off. We've seen a big uptick in growth attributed to the new class recommendations and fitness tracker. Let's recap. A company like Amplifit could have millions of customers engaging with multiple products and experiences. This can represent billions of data points created across every customer's life cycle, from the web visit to signing up adding classes, starting trials, checking in for in-person workouts, purchasing a subscription, and becoming a loyal Amplifit customer. Through all of that data, we were able to answer our strategic business question. How do we grow subscription revenue and seamlessly go from insight to impactful actions? We learned so much more by zooming into that one question, like, what is the value of a subscriber? Why do trial users drop off? Which is the right class for each user? And many more. And in 10 minutes, we were able to not only get to the answers, but also directly took action to improve the product and business outcome. This was just a glimpse of the power of Amplitude. 
there are so many more capabilities that our customers can access, like instant engagement and customer lifetime value reports, deep segmentation capabilities, insights that identify behaviors that predict retention, personas built automatically with data, journeys taken by customers, adoption and collaboration features that are built throughout to help teams accelerate their time to insight and scale a data-driven culture. SDKs, APIs, and dozens of turnkey integrations to bring data in and activate it across the technology stack. And there is an entire data management experience. Everything you need to plan and integrate sources and keep data well-managed and safe. Now imagine putting that power into the hands of every marketer, product manager, data scientist, executive, and operator within a business. That's the real power of Amplitude. That's how you drive constant growth and innovation. And that's the Amplitude Digital Optimization System.